Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. My name is uh, Dr. Farhan Haq and uh, I'll do, in this tutorial I'll teach you how to install Circos uh, in your Linux systems. So uh, first of all we should have an idea about the prerequisites which are required before we start uh, installing Circos. Number one is obviously we need to download the Oracle uh, VM virtual box and uh, you can download this from this link i'll also share this link in the comment box and after installing this uh, you should check that the down you have to download the latest version of ubuntu or centos, centos linux whatever linux type you need or you like download that i've downloaded uh, ubuntu using the uh, ubuntu linux system and on my desktop and then uh, also uh, the important thing is you have to check the Perl uh, version, Perl, well, what Perl version is installed in your Linux. Uh, the most important thing is that the version should be at least 5.8 or the, the newer versions which are recommended. Older versions will not be used, cannot be, uh, be used for Circos uh, installation and for Circos working. So if we have all these things together, then we are uh, ready uh, to use that the, our Linux system to install the Circos. So yes, uh, then we have, uh, let's start installing it. And uh, first of all, we have to go to the, our um, uh, system. And then we, uh, first we need to go to the Mozilla Firefox or web browser. Here the, in the browser, you just have to open it and uh, we, are, we are planning to install the Circos syst, uh, package. So just search that Circos uh, on, the, on the search box along with the, you, know, you mean if you want to download, just write Circos downloads and it will directly take you to the download uh, link. There, after clicking, uh, you just have to do two two main things. Uh, number one, download the Circos package, package, the latest package, and download the tutorials for your future use. And uh, because all the information related to these packages are available in these two, so it directly take us to us took us to the Circos.ca page. Here you can see that the list of downloads are available. I am selecting the the latest version that is of 0 0.69 and 30 MB size uh, and the tutorial that is a bit uh, big size that is 135 MB and after clicking the download you can see that uh, both of these uh, packages are all the information packages and modules related to these are uh, are available in these two folders so it's downloading these two into our downloads after completing the download we will move to the next part where <clears throat> let's see it's taking a bit more time compared to the uh, circos so maybe there are a lot of files in this tutorials so it, depending on the speed of the internet maybe the time varies the speed looks good like 1.8 mb per second but obviously the size is bigger let's wait for 50 more seconds and after uh, downloading these two we have to go to the uh, we just check it in the download folder that whether it is available in the download and then we have to uh, copy those downloads into the folder one folder of circos i'll show you how we will do that First, let's wait that uh, these two things gets downloaded. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ten seconds left. <clears throat> yes, after downloading. Uh, Okay, 
yes now now these two are completed so let's go and check whether these two files are downloaded in uh, in your downloads yes they are here now we have to go to the terminal and in terminal actually uh, for our ease we will just make two uh, uh, one folder of circos in the in our directory so that we it will be easy for us to, for future use here you can see that there is no specific folder for the uh, circos so like here when we click ls it will tell you that how many list of folders are available so using the mkdir that is make the directory for uh, command we will make another directory or folder for circos particular and uh, if we just uh, see inside this after writing cd space circos if we just click ls we can see that this there we have made an empty folder there is no information so we will just copy these two and paste them back into the into the circos uh, folder here just open it copy paste and uh, it has pasted these two uh, files into uh, this folder now you can check that back when you go to the uh, directory uh, in the terminal you can just write ls and you can see that the two list of the list of these two are uh, copied here right now <coughs> if we just <coughs> now we have just uh, to open these two and uh, let's say if uh, we write cd circos and <coughs> okay not t if we just enter let's go okay so actually this is not a extracted file this is the this is the zip file so first we have to extract this file using the uh, extract command that is uh, you know that is minus xzvf command all these commands uh, these small basic commands are copied in the disk uh, in the command section so that in the description section so that if you need to copy these command you that will be easier for you these commands are also available on the on the readme file of the so so if you want to copy that from there you can do that so after extracting the uh, giving the extracting command now you can see that the all the files are extracted and uh, we can now go into that folder right so here you can see that uh, uh, now we are into the circos folder and if i just write ls now we can see that there's a list of all the files in the folders inside the circos directory are extracted now we have to go into the bin because there we'll perform our further analysis here you can see that and now we are inside the bin folder and now we can check uh, of which modules are missing or which modules are already installed uh, so that we can know that uh, which of the modules we have to install again if they are missing so we just write dot slash circos and uh, modules and, and now here you can see that the, there are a number of uh, modules which are missing and uh, and this okay says that they are already here but some of them are missing so if uh, to further summarize or further simplify that if we just write this command dot dot slash your cost dash modules and grip missing it will give us the list of the missing uh, modules so these modules we need to install right so now after this using uh, three commands couple of commands we can install all these modules back into the uh, in the in our circos so first of all I will uh, copy these uh, commands in the discussion I'll tell you again that in the discussion 
or description part so that if you need want to copy these commands you can easily do that right let's see how it goes So after giving the first command, now the next one, after now and if we just have to write capital TR slash and then comma slash and <clears throat> No, like this. Okay. Now the last third command. After installing the uh, all the packages related to the circos, now we have to uh, make it work again. Uh, make it work. So let's see. First, we have to go to the CPAN and open that uh, CPAN uh, panel here, and um, uh, then install the configuration right and uh, for that we just write this command I'll again I'll set uh, I'm saying that I'll paste these commands in the in the description part so that if you need to copy these commands you can just directly copy those from there or you can also find these list of commands in the uh, most probably in the readme uh, file right and now it's installing all the configurations uh, using this command and uh, the next few steps will take you to guide you through the to the process right so let's wait and see how it will go right Now here you can see that uh, these uh, all the things are now you know configuring and uh, 
then after doing all this then we just have to uh, go out of this directory of circos and just uh, after going out and uh, we just have to uh, go to the circos module and check whether the list of the modules of which we have downloaded and uh, extra and installed are properly installed or not or whether there are some modules which are missing or not and here you can see that all the modules are properly installed so now uh, we'll just uh, go into the using the perl command and writing the all uh, the configuration of of circos and run the circos and uh, test run and we will after uh, giving this command we'll check that if the circos is working properly it will run through the whole uh, circos and uh, it will give us the sample result that will actually be in one uh, png format and one svg format outputs of the circos plots which are given in the example right here you can see that i am writing the command of the example and just going into the into the folder and of that example folder that is slash etc slash circos and dot config and just close the command and just click enter when i click enter now it's debugging all the files and it's running through whole process debugging all files it is processing uh, through the many circos histograms and plots and scatter plots and now after doing all this it will give us the result that the circos is installed and it's properly working hopefully let's see it will take a bit of time here you can see that it's telling yeah now it's done all the files are done then and now if you go to the circos folder here you can see that two uh, of the files are generated and this is one beautiful circos plot here you can see that all types of like scatter plots you can see scatter plots and you can see histograms and different colors and the heat map and everything is now installed in the and now your uh, circos is actually good for uh, functioning in your uh, linux system so now if you want to make any other plots of your interest you just have to make those files in uh, in the next part of our tutorial we will explain you how to make your own circus plots of your interest